you weren't super popular in high school, you had a vegan phase, you've thought about dyeing your hair. Hello everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Emma. If you're not already, you should definitely subscribe down below. So today I'm going to be doing the trend of reacting to your assumptions about me. So I put a little question thing on my Instagram story and I had people submit assumptions. It was interesting to see what people think of me but also I feel like a lot of the people that follow me on Instagram actually know me personally. Maybe it's not as shocking as some other people's videos but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Okay. so. Let's just get into the assumptions. So the first one is you prefer staying in rather than going out. I'd say this is true. I mean, I'm not a very big party person, especially because I like to go to bed early on weekends. I still go to bed by like 12 or 12. I feel like sometimes just staying in and like watching a movie with your friends or something can be just as much if not more fun than going out and going to a party or whatever. So the next one is you're a huge prankster and will actually be a manager at the Fractured Prune this summer. Unfortunately not. This is referring to the job that I had last summer. I worked at the Fractured Prune in Seattle City, New Jersey. Such a great place. I loved all the people that I worked with and I really loved my job but unfortunately I will not be returning this year because I am taking a job in my hometown but I will definitely come visit when I'm down in Sea Isle. You're a very extroverted person. I don't I don't know about that. I feel like I try to make it seem like I am on my videos and I try to be open and I'm working more on vlogging in public and stuff but I think there's a word for like the person in between extrovert and introvert and like I'm that because I'm also very shy but with my friends I can be really outgoing. You wanted to start doing YouTube a long time ago. So this is actually true. I filmed like one or two videos in eighth grade with this girl that I was best friends with at the time. Also there's like no beef between us we're just not best friends anymore and we actually had a YouTube channel. We only uploaded one. We never continued after that but I used to vlog and stuff on little trips like with my family or my friends. I just never did a full like video. I never got into it but I do wish that I started doing it like freshman year of high school because I'm in college now. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't start but maybe I was just nervous or something. I'm not sure. This one says you were such a pretty girl inside and out which is so sweet. I'm not gonna try to act like you know everyone loves me but this is actually from my best friend so makes sense that she would say this. I'm honored that she thinks I'm such a pretty girl inside and out. I'm not really gonna say if this is true or not because I don't want to sound full of myself. You love doing YouTube. Yes, I do, even though it's obviously not about how many subscribers you have and how many views you have because clearly if that was my motive I would have stopped. I really love being able to share my experiences and stuff on the internet and I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I'll probably continue doing it through college. I don't know what's gonna happen after that. I really have enjoyed it so far. You had a vegan phase. I actually did not. I did try to go vegetarian like a few times. It's never lasted for longer than a few months. I think the longest I did was like six months when I was, I don't know the word but it's like you only eat chicken and you don't eat red meat. actual audio of me typing and why does that sound so nice to me? Let's just play it again to hear it one more time. I love hamburgers and stuff too so that didn't really last long. You seem like a super sweet and amazing person. I'm honored by this. This actually wasn't from like one of my close friends. I'm honored that I come off that way. I have tried to come off as a nice person. I mean I am a nice person so I don't want people to think that I'm mean or something. Super quiet, only knew you from being one of the band couples at high school. This is referring to in high school, I did band, I did marching band, concert band, jazz band, that type of stuff. And my boyfriend Tommy also did band. We were only a band couple for like our senior year because we didn't date before that. I actually was pretty quiet in high school. I did a lot of stuff just like with my close friends. I wasn't super outgoing or popular or anything. I understand that. 
that I would seem as if I'm super quiet and shy. So going along with that, you weren't super popular in high school. I'm not like offended by this because it's true. I obviously wasn't popular, but I also wasn't not popular. I think that I knew a good amount of people and I was friends with a good amount of people. I just wasn't in that popular crowd. You've thought about dyeing your hair. I've had blonde hair my whole life. Do I get highlights now? Yes, it would be more of a dirty blonde if I didn't highlight it, but I really like how this blonde looks. I love being blonde blonde. Since I've always had blonde hair, I feel like it wouldn't fit me as well if I had a different hair color. You have no idea what you're gonna do after college. I actually do have an idea. I've actually already been planning for this. I want to get a master's in education and become an elementary school teacher. I do have a plan for after college, but it's also totally fine if you don't know what you're gonna do. I don't think that people should be rushed into making a decision that could possibly affect your whole life. I think that everyone should just do what's best for them. You're a very organized person and like to plan. This is very true. I usually plan out my whole day the night before. I like to have a list, a to-do list, and I know, okay, I need to get this stuff done. I'm not very spontaneous like that. I feel like I should try to get better about that. I like to know what time I'm doing things, where I'm going, stuff like that. So I wouldn't say that's a bad thing. I would just say that I should probably probably be a little bit more spontaneous. And the last one, you eat really healthy. This is not true. In my what I eat in a day, I feel like it was a pretty balanced diet. I try to eat healthy somewhat. Like I don't obviously just eat junk food all day or something. I always eat breakfast because I find that breakfast is a really important meal. Also, I eat dessert. I eat ice cream. I eat candy. You know, I think that everything in moderation and you need balance. Why would you want to deprive yourself of something that you really love? You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. While I try to eat on the healthier side, I feel like I have a balanced diet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned more about me. And if you want to participate in my next thing that I do on Instagram, maybe be a part of this video, you should definitely follow my Instagram down below. It'll be linked in the description. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So now it's time for the shout out. So this week's shout out goes to Allie Hager. Here you go, Allie. I hope you enjoyed your shout out and I hope everyone enjoyed the video.